In Boulder County, it's the fight to recover from the Marshall Fire. A lawsuit over the cleanup threatens to further delay the rebuild. It's been two months and we haven't really seen any progress. Two different situations, but the pain is the same. People in our community fighting for the safety and financial security of their homes. Our team coverage begins with a protest in Boulder County. People who lost homes to the raging Marshall Fire getting more frustrated by the day. You see, they've been fighting with the insurance companies and politicians over costs and zoning rules. Well, now a lawsuit has become their latest obstacle. CBS4's Alan Janae has been covering the fire and the aftermath since day one, and now and the rebuild has certainly brought a lot of challenges. Well, it certainly has, Jim. Now a lawsuit. Now, Boulder County has yet to finalize a deal with a company they want to hire to do the cleanup of the sites here. That was to start on March 1st. But two companies who aren't getting the bid contested the contract. That was rejected by the county this week. Now this lawsuit by a former FEMA director and an organization he calls demanding integrity in government spending. Over 70 days later, and little has changed. It's been two months, and we haven't really seen any progress. We still drive by the burned out ruins of our neighborhood. Tanya Semeru has memories of her home weeks before the fire when her children sang Christmas greetings. But now it's rubble and ashes. Nobody speaks for the fire survivor community and the people living here. We, do, we speak for ourselves. The Marshall fire victims deserve better than this. But former FEMA director Michael Brown, now a radio and podcast host, and his group have filed suit over the site cleanup contract. To make certain that the procedures were followed so that the taxpayers of Colorado don't get stuck with tens of millions of dollars in debris removal costs. In the complaint it says delaying the recovery uh, has no uh, negative impact on our community, but in fact it's a benefit. and. That is so insulting. Do you have any legitimate points here in this? I, I fail to see the logic of the argument. Um, I think the county has done a phenomenal job of understanding what needs to happen for FEMA. Superior right. trustee Neil Shaw says if there are new delays, a lot's at risk. You need to be able to start pouring that concrete this summer. So getting the debris removed quickly and then getting that, those foundations poured is a key part of home building. More frustration for people already dealing with a lot. We would rather that the recovery from our disaster look a little better than the initial response to Hurricane Katrina. Brown, if you remember, resigned as FEMA director back in 2005 after heavy criticism of his handling of the early aftermath of Hurricane Katrina. A spokesperson for Brown tonight said that basically there is no delay since the contract is not yet signed. But the county says they're ready to move ahead, hopefully before the end of the month and anything that Brown might get in court could delay things. Also, Marshall Together, that group that woman is a part of, has also filed a motion here claiming that uh, the lawsuit is harming them as well. In Superior, I'm Alan Janae, covering Colorado First.